And somebody asked me this week about um, my sky paintings and because she wanted to attempt one herself and the materials I use and technique and things like that and any tips. So I thought I'd make a video and then she can watch it too. Right, so <laughs> there's two here. Obviously very, very similar colour schemes as you see. But this one uh, is a little bit more kind of busy at the moment, which I wasn't sure about, but it's actually grown on me, so I think that's worked quite well. And this one I'm about two thirds of the way through and I'll talk you through how I did it and what I'm gonna do next. So usually I start by applying a kind of base color, which is often blue because I haven't got away from the fact that the sky should have some blue in it. So um, I apply this uh, smoothly, usually with a palette knife, um, to begin with and then blend it in with a big blending brush and these brushes I use are makeup brushes because they are um, really nice and fluffy and really good for blending and I love the ones that are round and flat on the end because they are brilliant for blending so I've got a big collection of makeup brushes so I will add this background colour um, and put it on smooth so it kind of gives the impression of it being a, a, in the distance and anything I put on top looks like it's in the foreground uh, and then I um, added some magenta and then obviously down here we've got a light area so there's a lot of white in this part I want to give the impression of it being really fluffy and dense clouds um, so that's got a lot more texture in it and it's kind of Hopefully it will give the impression that it's further forward as well. So when I, um, the, so this one is, is basically four colours. It's Prussian blue, magenta, uh, cadmium yellow, deep hue and white. I might add some black in it, uh, some black to give uh, a grey as well. But I'm not sure. I was thinking that at the end I might add some really, really kind of fine, veiny, kind of spidery clouds down here. Uh, to give even more depth but I don't know yet so I've got to add birds still because obviously all of my kind of sky paintings they have birds in and this one instead of them going across I want to do it almost like a feeling of ascension so it's going to have they're going to be coming up from here uh, so I'm rising up and um, and I might not put that many in I'm not sure we'll see I kind of add a few and then just build it up as I go until it looks like the right amount. Um, so when I do these uh, clouds, what I do is I get some paint on a palette knife and I just apply roughly in the shape that I kind of think, I kind of look at it from a distance and get the balance of everything and find where I think maybe it needs something else and just roughly go give a, a covering with the palette knife. It's not a lot of paint really. And then with this, uh, particularly with this brush, because it's my favorite brush, it's a really, uh, quite a fine, or a medium size, say, um, round blending brush. I think it's for the crease of your eye, maybe. Um, I will go in and I will, uh, with often with a circular motion, because this works really well for a, a blend, um, like you would with eyeshadow, really. Uh, I will blend some parts of the cloud, and then I will leave some parts kind of where I've just applied it with a palette knife, so that's quite thick, and then blend, go along and blend other parts out. So it gives the impression of being a cloud with varying density throughout its body, like the clouds in the sky. So I will, yeah, so I will just add, do the palette knife on and then blend out, and then go ahead and, I mean, here I've used kind of a more sweeping motion for these kind of cirrus type clouds, and then the circling is more for the cumulus, the big fluffy, cloud formation.